my phone ran out of charge. Okay, wait, I'll go put it for charge in some time. But now that I think about it, right, every time that my phone runs out of charge, I'll actually go take my charger, plug it in, and there you go, my phone gets charged. And that's what you would also do. But what would happen if we ran out of charge? Now, what do I mean by that? Of course, at the beginning of the day, we'll have lots of energy. But over or during the course of the day, we can do so many different activities. And by the end of it, we become so tired and low on energy. So how do I recharge my battery? What is the first thing that I would do? And what is the first thing that you would do? Think about it. First thing that we would do is actually go and eat, right? We'd be like, we need food right now. And our parents would also tell us the same thing. Eat food, you will become better. So there's something that is there in the food that actually has the ability to recharge us. And for some reason, we are able to get energy or we get energized to do activities. Well, the secret is in the fact that inside ourselves, we have a powerhouse who's responsible for doing this. Which is why in this video, we are going to appreciate the powerhouse of the cell, which is the mitochondria, where we will learn about its structure and function. I welcome you to Baiju's 9th and 10th grade channel. My name is Aishwarya, your biology expert, and let's get started with this video. Now, of course, in this video, what are we going to learn about? We will, of course, learn about the structure of the mitochondria and how it appears like and what is its structure. And we will move on to learn about the functions of mitochondria. And we will not just learn and just learn the function as it is, but we are going to visualize the function. So now, of course, I started by telling you that whenever we are low on energy, we go and we eat food, right? And there's something about something inside the food that actually gives us energy. Now, the thing is, inside the food, we know that there are various nutrients which are present, such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Now, one very important nutrient that we need to focus on is the carbohydrates. Now, we know that the carbohydrates that are there are the energy-giving food. And we know that they exist in complex form, which is why they get broken down into simple soluble forms. And then they get transported to all different parts of our body. And they reach the cells. Now, one very important type of carbohydrate that we need to remember is the glucose, right? So, we see that glucose is very, very important. And this glucose that is there is transported to the different cells of our body. Now we see that the glucose will finally reach our cells and now it will enter into the cells and we see that it will start to undergo breakdown and we see that this complete breakdown of glucose in order to release energy is done inside the powerhouse of our cell which is the mitochondria and we see that for, very, for this very reason we call it as the powerhouse of the cell. So let's understand the structure of the mitochondria and let's understand how exactly we see that glucose is getting broken down or is it that only glucose is there and nothing else is needed to actually produce energy? Many questions to look at as well, yes? So let's have a closer look at the mitochondria. Now we see that the mitochondria that is there is a double membrane structure. So we see that there is an outer membrane and we see that is a, there is an inner membrane. Now I request you to look closely at the structure of the mitochondria. We see that inside we observe that there are various foldings which are present. And every time you would look at a structure of a mitochondria, you see a picture of the mitochondria. Or even if you would see your teacher draw it, she will always draw it to look something like this. Yes? So we see that there are some finger-like projections which are there. And we see that the inner membrane that is there is made into finger-like projections which we call as cristae. Not to get confused with cisterns which are present inside the Golgi apparatus because most often than not, students get to confuse with these two terms. Now, why are they finger-like projections? Simply because we see that this increases surface area for production of energy. Now, on close observation, we also see that there are various thread-like structures. These are nothing but DNA. So we see that interestingly, mitochondria have their own DNA and they also have their own ribosomes. So we see that they synthesize their own proteins. They are pretty self-sufficient on their own. But why do we call mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell? I told you, right? We know that it is responsible for energy production. Now the thing is, your glucose undergoes breakdown, right? And we see that complete breakdown takes place. But how exactly? 
Let's understand this in a very simple, easy manner. So for this, I am going to show you a small video so that we understand it along with the video. So now, of course, whenever we are doing any activity, let's assume we're doing some physical activity, we require energy, right? And for this energy, apart from food that we eat, we also know that during this, oxygen is necessary. Now, oxygen that is there is something which is present on the outside. So we take it in through into our body, through our nose, and then ultimately, we see that it reaches the lungs. Now, from here, we see that once it enters into the lungs, it reaches the alveoli that are there. And inside the alveoli, which has a lot of blood vessels, we see that the red blood cells will transport this oxygen all the way to different parts of the body. The heart will pump it to different cells. And finally, we see that it will reach the cells. So let's assume that it's gone to the muscle cells, right? Because during physical activity, muscles are actively involved. Now, once this oxygen reaches, your glucose is also there. And we see that together, a complete breakdown happens inside the mitochondria and it releases energy. And how does it release this energy? It releases it in the form of ATP. So in this case, we see that the energy currency or the form in which energy is released is through this thing called as ATP. Now, what is ATP? We see that ATP is nothing but ad ad adenosine triphosphate, right? So we see that ATP is nothing but adenosine triphosphate. And we call this as the energy currency of the cell. So for any chemical reaction to take place, we see that it takes place at the expense of ATP because energy is stored in this particular molecule. And because the mitochondria synthesizes large volumes of ATP, we call it as the powerhouse. So there you go. Now you know why mitochondria is called as the powerhouse of the cell, right? So here's a quick homework question for all of you where in the comments below, I request you to tell me the structure and function of the mitochondria. And I will be checking your answers. So do not forget to tell me the answer. And if you did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments below as well. Now, if you like the way I have taught you, and if you like the way we teach us teach you here at Baiju's 9th and 10th, then here's a full-fledged timetable for all you students to understand that we take classes regularly on the channel. We make sure that we take academic classes between 6 p.m. for 9th standard, 7 p.m. for 10th standard. And of course, we have a lot of level-up classes happening at 8 p.m. every day. So please do not forget to hit the subscribe button because I just 9th and 10th has always got you covered. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I will be seeing you soon. But up until then, everybody, take care. Lots of love and bye-bye.